Homicide 1901, the case of 30-year-old John Harding. John Harding was convicted of the manslaughter of 45-year-old William Gray. John Harding and William Gray had been drinking at the Guildford Arms, or Builders Arms, in Pimlico on the 19th of November 1901, when John Harding said that he saw a man strike a woman. He said that he then aimed a blow at the man that hit the woman, but missed, and hit William Gray, who subsequently died from concussion. William Gray had been a potman at the public house. John Harding had been a porter at Victoria Mansions. He was described as a hard-working and sober working man. It was heard that on the night of Saturday the 19th of October 1901 that John Harding and the other man had been drinking in the builder's arms when some words were passed between a woman and some other people and that William Gray had told them that if they wanted to quarrel they must go outside. The woman was then struck by the other man. John Harding then struck a blow, but William Gray received it on the left side of his face and was later found in his bed in an unconscious state. He was then removed to the Westminster Hospital suffering from compression of the brain and although an operation was carried out, he died. When John Harding was arrested, he denied that he had attacked William Gray, stating that he had made the blow at the other man. He was convicted of manslaughter at the Old Bailey on Wednesday the 20th of November 1901 and sentenced to one day imprisonment. The sentence was described as a nominal term of imprisonment and was tantamount to his immediate discharge. The Guildford Arms was also referred to as the Builder's Arms. The Builder's Arms had been at 20 Moreton Street but has since been pulled down.